All right, violinists, let's talk about our music staff. This is a review of what's on page 16. What we talked about in class, this is one of the most important things you can work on is learning how to read your music. Okay, so we have our music staff, one, two, three, four, five lines. In those, in between those lines are spaces where we can put notes. One, two, three, four. We count from the bottom up, okay? So on a line and on a space is where we can put a note to represent where that note is on your violin. So if you put a note right here, or a note right here, they mean two different things of where to put your fingers and how to make those notes on your instrument. We have a, a pattern of how they move up the staff, of how our notes travel, how the sound goes, the pitch goes up just as it goes up the music staff. And the pattern is, we start, there's a space, and then line, space, line, space, line. See how the note is drawn with the line through, like this line draw right through the middle of it line, space, line. Okay, so we don't ever have any notes that are like half on a line and, or half on a space. They're either a space note or a line note. Now we have something called a clef that we draw at the beginning of the music staff. Each instrument has a different clef. This is the treble clef. It has a long line up and a curvy six down or curly hair, someone said. Okay, so there's our, our treble clef. If you see this, then you know the notes that are on this staff are the ones that you know for your violin, okay? So we're going to learn where our open strings are. Your open G string, we have to add a couple extra lines because it's down lower. Okay, so there's our G string. We have two extension lines. Those are ledger lines, like little extension lines. Because we have more notes than we have on spaces and lines, so we have to add some extra sometimes. But if we had them on there all the time, they would be much too much. Sorry, can you guys hear that? I got some new kitties, and one of them is climbing up my cello case. Apollo, what are you doing? Yeah, are you stuck? Come here. Come say hi to everybody. Here is Apollo. He apparently wants to play the cello. Can you say hi? Yeah, hi. We'll put him down and let them keep playing. Anyway, okay, back to our music staff. Okay, so we have our G string. This, so if you see a note that looks like this on the music staff, you'd play the open G string. Whoops, put it this way so you can see. G string. If you see a note that sits right underneath here, it's like a code. It's code for open D string. Okay, so a note that sits right underneath that bottom line of the staff. If you saw one, whoops, that kind of went on the line. So you gotta make sure you don't go through the lines as well. Got one for A. Okay, it's on the second space up. One, two, that's our second space, A. And again, we skip another space and we go up. There's a pattern to this too. Oh, there's so many patterns in music, I love it. Okay, so we've got our G and our D. I wrote them on top of each other or you can write them separate, side by side. Okay, so if you ever saw this one, anytime you see it in the second space, it's an A string. Or if you were writing a piece of music and you wanted uh, to have someone play, you wanted to have the A note in there, you would write it in that second space. And then again, you put in your E, okay? So then the top space. So we learn where those are. Those are the most important open string, the open notes are the open strings. Then when you learn where D is, cats are fighting by my feet, they're playing. Okay, so there's our D. Now, when we follow our pattern up and we go open D and then we put one right here, that's an E, one note up. So this is a D, this is an E. And how do we play E on the D string? We put our first finger down, okay? So this is an open D, E first finger. This is very similar to what we had on the other page that we just had two lines, but the note still traveled up and down the staff. Okay, this is in the first space, this is where F sharp is. Second finger, see, D, E, F sharp. So we have open, one, two. And then we follow the pattern up. We just did a space for two, so now we gotta do a line note for our third finger, G. So open, one, two, three. Space, line, space, line, traveling up. Our pitch sound goes up as well. And then for our last one, it's A, and this is fourth finger, or open. Both of those play the same sound. Okay, so learn these. These are the most important ones for you to learn for this 
week, for a couple of weeks, we're gonna be practicing those D string notes. Um, write them in, go back through and do your theory pages and uh, play the games. There's lots of fun things that you can do and start practicing your songs um, and keep practicing your songs that are back here on page 12 and 13. There's videos for each of those. Okay, have a great fall break, you guys. See you in a couple weeks.